Oh, that piano sounds so nice. Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I am here with the brand new Casio CDPS 350. This, along with its new little brother, the CDPS 150, has finally been unveiled in the United States. Now, there's a story behind that. It's not exactly new. Back in 2019, Casio introduced this in the Europe and Asian markets. So it was available in part of the world. It wasn't available in the United States or South America or any of those, but it was available through Guitar Center if you knew about this. Guitar Center was granted an exclusive for over a year, like a year and a half. That ended July 1st, just recently. So, if you knew about it, you could get this through Guitar Center. This was introduced to the European and Asian markets without it being displayed at NAM 2019. It wasn't there. And it wasn't there because it wasn't being introduced to the entire world at that time. So, here I am to introduce you to this. This is such a cool keyboard this this whole cdps series so before i start into the cdps 350 let me talk a little bit about its little brother the cdps 150 now the 150 has this new it's the same keyboard action as the 350 it's 88 key it's weighted it's graded it's scaled hammer action and you know just like any other Acoustic piano, heavier at the bottom, lighter at top. It has 10 tones, a one-track MIDI recorder with a single record button, so there's nothing to sit there and figure out. You hit record, you start playing, you're done. And it runs on AA batteries for, wait for it, 13 hours. The CDPS 150 will run up to 13 hours on AA batteries. How cool is that? I've never heard of any other keyboard that can do that. So if you're a busking musician playing on the street, wow, you are set for way more than you can play. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I love that. Now, it has a different piano set from the CDPS 350. It's not quite as good, but it, it's still really good. Now, let's talk about the CDPS 350. The CDPS 150 was $479. I mean, that's dirt cheap for what you get. The CDPS 350 is $549. It's $70 more. We're talking US dollars. $70 more. And look at what you get for that $70. Not only do you get 700 tones instead of the 10 that's on the CDPS 150? You also get an LCD screen, which you don't have on the CDPS 150. It's also battery operated, but it'll only run about four hours on batteries. Of course, it's powering the screen, it's powering a more powerful sound engine and so on and so forth. So four hours of battery power on that and still four hours is still probably more than you're going to be playing. And of course, it'll run on AC power as well. Now, the PX160, which has been around for a long time, is discontinued for the same price and a lot more features. I mean, a lot more features. Let's go through those. First of all, the size. It's really slim. It's, I mean, the case is barely bigger than the keys. So they did a fantastic job with that. It's 52 by 9.1 by 3.8 inches, and it weighs only 24 pounds. Unbelievable. Now, I suppose you can call this a hybrid because not only is it a stage piano, I mean, first and foremost, it's a stage piano. But besides being that, it also has a ranger functions. And I suppose you can say it has some introductory workstation functions. So if you want to get a feel, an introductory feel to arrangers and workstations, this is the ticket without spending a lot of money. So in addition to the 700 sounds, you've got 
200 auto accompaniment rhythms so that you basically have a band here with rhythms and so on and so forth that you can play along to. 10 user rhythms, 310 music presets, 152 built-in songs, including 50 piano exercises so that you can strengthen your piano playing abilities and learn how to play the piano at the same time. 100 arpeggiator types and wow, I mean, this thing does it all. Now, the sound set that it has, when Casio introduced the CTX series a couple years back, CTX 700, 3000, 5000, 800, the sound set that that had was just unbelievable. I mean, the sound set that that had, the sound engine reproduced instruments so accurately, people were like, wow. They couldn't believe it. But when they introduced that sound set, they only introduced that into their portable keyboards, which was the 61 key series. People said, I want that sound set, but I want 88 keys. So this is it. This uses the CTX sound set in 88 K version, and it gives you a lot of capabilities. Now it's got built-in speakers, they're 8 watts per side for a total of 16 watts. I mean, you're not going to be performing a gig on this at some, some club or whatever. You're going to hook that up into an amplifier uh, or whatever. But it's good enough for a small room. It's good enough for a living room. Might even be good enough on the street somewhere. Um, you're probably better off with a, a small amplifier, battery operated. There's a few of those around. Now, it comes with a, uh, a little box style pedal. It's a cheap little plastic pedal that works as a damper or sustain pedal that you plug in here. I would suggest you get a better pedal than this. Um, M-Audio makes one, it's about $20. Make sure you get the universal one. Um, it also can take the optional Casio triple pedal, the SP34, which is this pedal right here. So you have all the same functions that you have on a regular acoustic piano. You've got the damper function and you've got the sostenuto and the soft pedal. So, and you're not required to buy a stand to use this pedal. Perfectly portable also comes with a uh, music rest fits in perfectly you can put your music up here you can put your tablet or your uh, cell phone up here and it comes with the ac power adapter so that you can plug this into your ac mains or the wall and power this without using batteries now you've got 32 slots to save favorites so that, I mean, there's a lot of things here, 700 sounds. And if you want to go quickly from one sound to another, you're performing with your band, you got to get to a, from a piano to an organ quickly, or from an organ to a harpsichord, or from a harpsichord to something else. You can do that by setting them up in registration memories. Now you've got eight banks of four memories for a total of 32 memories. Real easy to recall stuff. Just basically one, two, three, four. And if you need more than that, go to the next bank, one, two, three, four. So it doesn't get much easier than that. And it has a six track MIDI recorder and you can record up to five songs. And you can use the accompaniments that are built in and so on and so forth. Or you get an inspiration, you can start playing your piano piece and then add a second track with, with bass and a third track with uh, guitar and so on and so forth. I mean, the possibilities are limitless. So if you want to create your own songs, this is the way to do it. And with that function, that's kind of an introduction to workstations. Now it's got a metronome and transposers so that you know if you're playing in c and your singer knows it in d you can transpose the keyboard to d 
while you're playing in C, it comes out as though you're playing it in D. So it has that capability as well. It's got reverb and chorus effects. It's got split and layer functionality. Um, when you are doing layers, though, you don't have control of the individual volumes of each layer. Kind of a drawback to that, but still, for this price range, to be able to layer those kind of things, it's, it's basically an introduction to all of these things. Splits, layers, workstations, arrangers. It's an introduction to everything. But it is definitely a performer's piano. If you're a busking musician, a performing musician, you can get away with all of that stuff just using this without even going into the extra sounds. And the Cordana Play for Piano app that you can download and use this with, I will cover that later on in the video. That's a real cool app. It's like adding a touch screen onto this. And it's got a pitch bend wheel and it has duet mode. And when you press duet mode, basically the keyboard breaks up into two identical 44 key keyboards so that you can have a teacher sitting at one end and the student at the other end. They both have the same keyboard available to them. Makes it real easy to learn. Now let's go through the back panel. On the back panel, you've got an AC adapter input. You've got an eighth inch TRS audio input so that you can take your MP3 player or whatever and feed that into there. You've got an eighth inch TRS audio output. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. You've got a proprietary jack for the SP34 triple pedal that I just showed you. That's an optional pedal available for $99. And you've got a quarter inch TS pedal jack so that you can hook up the pedal that comes with this or a more suitable replacement like an M Audio Universal pedal. And you have USB A and B jacks on the back. All right, so now the only output of this is that eighth inch TRS stereo output jack. You can hook headphones up to that, or if you don't have headphones play plugged in, you're playing with the built-in speakers. But there's all kinds of adapter cables available. For instance, I'm recording this on a Zoom F6, which takes XLR inputs left and right. So here is an adapter cable that gives me 1 8 inch stereo TRS that I plug into here. The other ends, it's broken down into the left and right XLR channels. So that's being plugged into the recorder right now. You can get another kind of adapter that has quarter inch adapters, or if you're gonna be playing at a gig, here's an adapter that takes the eighth inch TRS stereo and converts it to a one quarter inch mono cable. So you can plug this into the amp or front of house or wherever. So just because they only have that eighth inch TRS stereo jack doesn't mean you're limited. There's cables and adapters to adapt this to anything. All right, so now let's go over the board. This is, this is on right now. Let me just turn this off for a second. Now, watch how fast this turns on. I'm turning it on. The screen comes on, it says welcome, and now I am ready to play. The knob right next to that is a volume control. So, I mean, that's self-explanatory. This whole section is for accompaniment and recording and metronome. It's got a built-in metronome. You can change that to however you like. You can record yourself here as well. Now, there's a category key. Let me get into this in a second. There is a jog wheel right here, and you'll notice the first thing that you see here is stage piano, and it says one. That's the first tone of 700 tones available, and I can go through all 700 by turning this knob. Now, <laughs> that gets a 
bit tedious. If I want to go to tone 530 or something, I'm not going to sit here and turn that knob that far. So let me go back to one. All right, that's where the category button comes into. So if I hit the category button, now I'm going to go through the 18 categories that this has. So if I hit category, I got piano, electric piano, organ. These are the different categories. Accordion, guitar, bass, strings, brass, reed, pipe, synth one, synth two, pad, choir, ethnic one, ethnic two, general MIDI tones, and drum set. So let's go back to piano. So if I've chosen piano in the category, now I've got these different pianos to choose from. The default is the stage piano that you've heard. And here's some various pianos, and you can see what they are by looking at the screen here. favorites here is number 16 it is a grand piano wide so let's go through some of the other categories over here so let's go to the electric piano category and if I wait two seconds I can start picking or I can hit tone and right away I can start picking what electric pianos I want so So let's move on to the next category, organ. And we can start picking the organs here. You can see this is a JS organ. It's got some excellent organs on here. of organs here. All right, let's go to the next category, uh, accordion. There's a bunch of different accordions over there. And let's go to the next one, guitar. There's a lot of guitars over here. Here's a nylon one.
Here's a steel guitar. No shortage of guitars here at all. There is a lot of guitars. So let's go to the next category, uh, bass. Now listen to some of the things that this thing can do. So here's a, a bass tune right here. Okay. Now, if I hit a note harder, watch what happens. Get that slap sound. That's cool. And a lot of the tones on this have that too. So you get that extra expressiveness, especially on the horns and stuff. We'll get to that in a moment. Strings. <laughs> build up all right let's move on to the brass section okay and here's some string brass solo trumpet See what happens when I hold it? Very cool. So you can get some cool expressions going here. Um, synth brass. Brass section. Next section, reeds. See what happens when I hold it? You get that tremolo kind of thing. It's a solo sax. Here's a breathy sax. All right, next category, pipe. Synth. Synth two. Pads. Got some beautiful pads here.
wires. One sitar, all kinds of ethnic instruments here. Ethnic two is just more ethnic instruments. general MIDI sound set here. I don't need to go through that. And the last one is drum set. There's a whole bunch of different drum sets, but there is also, yeah, there's a dance set too. There is also trans sets, hip hop sets, room sets, power sets, rock sets, electric sets, <laughs> drum machine one two three jazz sets but when you get to the end what i want to show you is there is a sound effects set one and set two now you're going to have to play around with this <laughs> There's all kinds of sounds, and here's the sound set too. So you're gonna have to play around with that, but it does come with a, a sound sheet. So you see what all the 700 sounds are. You can get to that, you can download that, and so you can have that on your computer available to you whenever you want. Then there's the rhythm section. I don't really use this, but if you're into that, you want accompaniments, that is a cool thing to have. So here's your different rhythms here. You can do that by uh, starting and stopping. I should have picked a bass for that, sorry. But you get the idea, there's all kinds of stuff here. This category is pops, 20 uh, beat, three, six, uh, rock, dance, jazz, traditional, Latin, world, country, ensemble, ballad. So there's a lot of stuff available to you here on that. In the song bank, I mean, there's different songs here that you can play, and when you use the app, you can learn how to play it too. All right, so there's a lot there. I'm not going to go through all of that stuff. 
All right, then there's split, so you go ahead and hit split. Got bass on the bottom and piano on the top. So when you do that and you keep flipping through this, these are different splits that they've set up for you with different instruments and different tones on the left and on the right. But you can change that. You can set up whatever tones you want on the left hand and the right hand. And the same thing with layers. layers you can also set whatever parts you want the two layers that you want you pick those and you can have splits and layers at the same time so you get a sound on the left hand and a layered sound on the right hand you're getting three tones at the same time and the last thing I wanted to show you before I go off and show you the uh, Cordana Play for Piano app is this button right here labeled Function. You press it and the first thing that comes up is Touch. So you can say, you can change the touch setting here if you like a light setting or a normal setting or a heavy setting. Uh, that kind of thing. So if you hit it again, you can to light, normal, heavy, and off. If I have it off, I can press this as light as a feather or as hard as I want. There's no touch setting, so it's always the same volume. Now, I kind of like to do it at light. Now, if I press and hold it, it acts as an exit to get out of that function, and it goes back to the previous. The previous was touch. And with this jog wheel, I can go through all the different things that I can change here. I can set duet mode that I was talking about at the beginning, where you have two pianos that are identical, 44 keys. They play the same exact octaves and notes. All kinds of stuff over here available to you. This is where you change your split point and so on. It's real easy. You do that and you hold a button and you press the point that you want to split at and you're done. Company from accompaniment volume, you can do that. Song volume, tune, tuning, scale, reverb, a bunch of different reverb settings in here. Very cool. Chorus settings metronome MIDI where you can set your MIDI channel media is for your USB thumb drives that you'll put into here and other and if you go into other then you can do things like operation lock so that no matter what you're playing if you accidentally touch a button here it won't make a difference that whole thing is locked contrast to the screen you can set here makes a big difference here auto off so if you want to conserve power this will turn itself off after a specified amount of time you can set that here you can reset this to factory defaults uh, you can find out what version this thing is running and so on and so forth so if i press and hold it that's an exit back to the previous screen same thing here and i'm back to my stage piano all right so now let's pull this out Let's set this up here, and I am going to use my Android device. You can use a uh, Apple or an Android device and hook up a MIDI cable. Now, this is kind of what you would do to hook up to your computer. You've got your USB-B on one end, and the other end is going to be whatever your computer takes, which is a USB-A. In this case, 
The other end is going to be whatever your phone takes. In my case, it's a USB-C. So I've got a cable here that's USB-B to USB-C, and I'm just going to plug that into my phone. And I'm going to start Casio Cordana Play for Piano. And here's the different things that you can get into. You can get into the piano remote controller. I'll show that in a second. The MIDI player, descriptions of the built-in songs, audio player, PDF score viewer, and there's other things too. Now this MIDI player is really cool. And if you go ahead and buy any MIDI songs that I have on my channel, you can load those up into here too. And watch what happens when you load up a song. Let's pick, oh, I don't know, anything. Fantasia Impromptu song. And we'll play it. And watch the falling bars. Okay, now you can slow this down too. And it's really cool. You see these falling bars and what keys they're coming down on? And you can learn to play it that way. It's a really super cool way to learn how to play piano. Whether you don't read any music or you do, this is cool. You know where the notes are going, you see it, and you know where to put your fingers to play. Very, very cool. And the PDF score viewer, well, whatever you pick, let's pick the same thing again. You've got the scores here. Of course, on a bigger tablet, this is going to be bigger. Or you can make it bigger here so that you can see exactly what you're getting into. And if you go into others, you can have the user manual right here online and so on and so forth. And there's other Casio music apps. Now, here is the piano remote controller. And this is a real cool thing that I want to show you. All right, so remember this thing has 700 tones. And by the way, this will also work on its little brother, the CDP S150. Now with 700 tones, it's hard to get to stuff. Um, even though you have the category button that I showed you and the jog wheel that makes it easier, watch this. I'm gonna press tone here. And right now it says guitar. So I'm going to press this right here. And now here's my categories on the left. All right. So instead of going through each of the 18 categories linearly, I can go ahead and choose, well, I want a, uh, a choir. So I'm just going to hit choir. And up comes all the different sounds I have for choir. And if I want a guitar, well, I just press on guitar. And here's all the different guitars that are available to me. All I have to do is press which one I want. So that is really cool. So let's get out of here and let's go back to the previous menu. And that was tones. Now the keyboard and sound source, you have the touch response right here available to you. I'm on light, but you can choose normal or heavy. Duet mode, you can turn it on here where... See? So teacher on this end, student on this end, they both have the same exact 
44 notes available to them. And I'm going to turn that off because I don't need that. You can have your transpose right here. Do an octave shift, right keyboard tuning, and all that kind of stuff. Scale type, scale bass notes. Now for pedals. Now you can assign a different functions to the pedal. That's the single pedal that comes in there. It can be sustain or sustenuto or soft or rhythm slash song. Effects. Here's where you can change your effects. Okay, so you've got light chorus, chorus, deep chorus, flanger. You go back here and you've got the different kinds of reverbs available to you here this is all three which is where i like it but you can go to a stadium there's a ton of built-in songs and you just go to the list and you can pick from the categories world event piano classics exercise user songs or user records and if you go into the exercise set then there's like 50 different exercises available to you all right so that is cool too And you can select whether you want the left or the right hand or both. Then there's accompaniments. This is cool if you're into that kind of thing too. Uh, there's all these different kinds of... Let's go into uh, rock. And let's go into uh, hard rock. And you can do a arpeggiator here or you can turn it off and just play and you can turn the auto accompany mode on And your metronome and MIDI. You can set your MIDI channel here, local control, you can turn it on or off, and so on and so forth. So, this is one really, really cool instrument at a price that anybody can afford. Now, for a $70 difference between the S150 and this s350 it's kind of a no-brainer you get so much more for seventy dollars but if all you want is a piano and you're busking and all you want to do with it is play piano on batteries out in the street and you want it to last all day 13 hours the s150 is the way to go but if you want all the extra stuff that i showed you I mean, this is like a hundred times more. It's even more than a hundred times more than what the 150 offers. This is the way to go, the S350. Now, let me just make a little bit of a comparison. Another competitive model would be the Yamaha uh, P125. And that is $649 US dollars. $100 more than this. Now, with that, you get 24 tones, not 724. You get buttons, not an LCD screen. There is no inputs, so you can't plug in your MP3 player into this and jam along with it. There is no pitch bend wheel, and there is no battery operation. This is just to name a few. So, all in all, this is a great price. And if you want it for an even better price, contact me. 
if you're in the U.S. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.